Och det här är andra delen av intervjun med Crass. Första delen kunde ni höra för två veckor sedan. Crass omslag, de är typiska. Man ser direkt att det här det är ett Crass omslag. Skickliga collage och målningar som många gånger talar för sig själva. Omslagen de går att vika upp till affischer fullspäckade med information. People don't expect people who can really do things to be on the outside because everyone who can really do things gets bought up. And I think particularly with the artwork, it's very easy to see and not just the, the paintings rather than the collage, you know. I mean that standard of painting which is brilliant. Why on earth is a sort of scrappy dirty little underground band like Crass? Why why has why can someone paint like that? And that's the shock of it. You know, the shock of it is the standard of the quality of it against the content of it because people don't expect to see the sort of content we deal with pre- presented in 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 that sort of way and i think it shocks all of your pre- all the preconceptions about something i mean one sees lots and lots of shocking collages and i don't think they hit you in the same way that the paintings that a lot of the paintings that we've put out do in the sense that they're shocking because they're so bloody good i mean we do use them as information sheets so sort of like a magazine and i think that shocks people too because they're usually there to enhance the inside solely you know it's a selling the, the cover is there to sell the record and um we use it very much in, in a very different way we use it for people to really get information from and to understand probably a bit more the content and i think that's really what people get attracted to too and feel maybe as a shock because some of that information is not information that is readily available to most people. So, I mean a lot of people would say oh this LP is 2 pound 50 or whatever it is 2 pound 25 for an LP if it's that cheap it must be shit. Um and that's another preconception which we try and get over because if people see things that are cheap they usually assume that they aren't going to be very good that they've cut the corners and it's going to be a bad product. That is one reason for us to make it even better than the records that are full price. to the the way we do things there are different ways of doing things what there aren't alternatives to is is maintaining your own integrity intact so if if bands in in Sweden um want to do it they have to maintain their integrity that's that's that is crucial uh the idea that if you can get 5000 records out rather than 500 means that you're going to be five times as powerful so that it's actually worth compromising yourself a little bit by signing to some uh label is actually totally fallacious you know because it doesn't matter it's the quality of what goes on out and it's uh, and it's your own integrity which is crucial it's it's not the quantity and which is almost like a truism you know, go for quality rather than quantity first heard of democracy with dirt och därefter hörde vi Crass säga att det är bedrägligt att skriva på för ett stort bolag bara för att nå ut till fler människor. Det avgörande är kvalitet, inte kvantitet. För några år sedan så gjorde polisen rassior hos affärer som sålde Crass-plattor. 
och beslag tog skivorna. Är det fortfarande så? No, at the moment it isn't, although it could be quite easily. But at that time it was um asylum. Yes, it was asylum. And they were um advising shops not to stock it, not to sell it, and especially to people underage. Anyway, if you bomb something, you might be sort of blowing up a building or blowing up a car. But you aren't changing anything. I mean, even if you shoot somebody, you aren't changing anything because there'll be somebody else in their place. But if you can put out, if you can put out something which actually makes people think about their preconceptions, if you put out something like Reality Asylum, which through through heavily attacking and criticizing the institution of religion, may create space in people's mind for them to be able to think beyond the restrictions of that religion. People, people to be able to think, well, maybe if I say God's a shit, there won't be a bloody thunderclap coming down to strike me down, because there won't be, you know, and it creates people, you know, it means that people think beyond the restrictions that the system imposes, and it's those mental restrictions that, are, that is what um, keeps people in their place. I am no feeble Christ, not me. He hangs in glib delight upon his cross, above my body. Christ, forgive, forgive. I vomit for you, Jesu. Shit, forgive. Down now from your cross. Down now from your papal heights. From that churlish suicide. Petulant child. Down from those pious heights, royal flag bearer. Goat, Billy. I vomit for you. Forgive. Shit, he forgives. He hangs in crucified delight. Nailed to the extent of his vision, his cross, his manhood, violence, guilt, sin. He would nail my body upon his cross, suicide visionary, death reveler, rape, rapist, life fucker, gazer, earth mover, Christus, grave digger. You dug the pits of Auschwitz. The soil of Treblinka is your guilt, your sin. Master, master of war, enigma. Reality Asylum med Crass och den här versionen av Reality Asylum var hämtad från Feeding of the 5000. Om man skjuter ner en makthavare så ändrar det inget. Det kommer bara en ny ställe, säger Crass. Men om man säger saker som får folk att tänka, det är farligare. Därför så blir det sånt liv när Crass gav ut Reality Asylum, en häftig attack mot religionen och kyrkan. Crass ger även ut andra band på sin etikett. Hur kommer man i kontakt med dem? We come into contact with a lot of people who who are doing things in the same sorts of areas that we are. Um, and it has developed as with the boys and girls and Captain Sensible that, um, for instance, with Captain Sensible, he wanted to put out a record which was free of the restrictions which were imposed on him by the record label that he was on at the time. Um, he wanted to make his own statement um, in an independent way, independent of the music business. Which he couldn't on the label. Which he wasn't. couldn't on his own label. No, no, he couldn't within his own band. I mean, let no. alone the label. I mean, the, the band weren't interested in what he'd got to say, so he decided to do something on his own where he could say what he wanted to do say. Do you, Ambassador Zoran, deny that the USSR has placed and is placing medium and intermediate range missiles and sites in Cuba? Yes or no? Don't wait for the translation. Yes or no?
Someone doesn't come to us and say, well, look, we've done this take, will you put it out? Because that isn't, we're not a business. We want to share energies and enthusiasm for things with people. So people come to us and we say, well, look, okay, that's good. Let's try and record it really well. Um, let's try and make the cover really nice and let's work to, on it together if you want us to. Um, if not, we'd like to come along just to sort of watch you work. And I mean, like with the captain, he produced that. Um, well, he and I produced it, um, but we, he did most of the work on it. Um, and that was a situation where someone said, well, look, I don't want you to take control of it. And I said, well, can I come along and just be a part of it, you know, to learn from you? And that's where, that way we learn from people. We're not sort of a, an authority that says that's how it should be. Um, at the same time, we've got a lot of skills which we can offer people, and it's a sort of trying to share... I mean, it was very exciting to do the captain because he was the first some person who'd come along who knew how to use a studio. Whereas gen most of the bands we record, we know better how to use a studio than they do. So, I mean, I learnt an enormous amount from him just watching how he worked on a control desk. Um, and so that way we can grow. We, you know, don't, so we don't operate as a, as a label in, in that one of the things about <clears throat> working with other bands is that we make an agreement with them that we'll only put out one single. So, for instance, with a band like The Snipers or The Flux of Pink Indians, um, who we had met through <coughs> going around and doing gigs and just being in contact, um, you know, we can offer them um, the sort of pressing and distribution of their own, of the record on our label, which might give them more public exposure. Det handlar om att lära från varandra, säger Kras. Vi vill inte vara någon auktoritet som säger hur det ska låta. Captain Sensible från The Damned. Honom hörde vi just i The Russians Are Coming. Hade material som han inte fick ut någon annanstans. Men nu så finns den singeln på Crass Records. <skratt> 